In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. All that is seen and unseen. In the new panorama that is the unseen, the art of the the world of hearts anew, on the air of the grass they hide behind. In the infinitesimal pantheon, the art of the hearts anew. Everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm defeated. And this is Hugo and Jake. Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the earliest thing that the Gaithers did. The Gaithers, famous from Gaithers Pond. We looked at that about a month or so ago. Believe it or not, that's one of the more competent things they've worked on. In 1998, the same year Pixar's follow-up to Toy Story, A Bug's Life, came out. <laughs> and its copycat, Ants, came out. Oh yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. This also came out. So let's take a look at, um, mm. well, if minions could have STDs, it would be Dorby's. Here we go. Dorby's, everywhere I look I see Dorby's, rolling to a pro I see Dorby's. This looks like it was animated by someone with ALS. Rolling down the halls, I see Dorby's. Tiny little balls, I see Dorby's. Why don't they go away? This movie's already said exactly how I feel. I, why do we have to be here for the rest of this? Dorby's. Someone did their best on this. Say that I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. How y'all doing? Pretty bad, tomato slash, I guess, black person. Pretty bad. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Old Delta Darby, and most people around here call me Delta. Hi Delta, I'm Hugo. Please end my suffering. But you can call me... Delta. So what do you think? This guy was number two after they called Andy Circus and he said no? Or number three? <laughs> yeah. I've been living here in Dolby Town for now going on 72 years and... Uh, so th this guy's been here for 72 years and, and this is actually incredible and true. Uh, this is the exact number of years I wish was taken off my life. You're not even 30. Yeah, just abort me and kill my mom to make sure. Hey, Delta! Hey, man, come over here! You never guess what I found the other day when I was rummaging through a rancid pile of- Wow! It's actually a surprise when a movie actually shares my befuddlement with itself, but... There it is. I love a junior band. Can I join your band? <laughs> you know what? I just can't. I don't want to join your band. Anybody. I'll tell you what, though, man. If you want to hang out with somebody, you want to jam with somebody, just get weird, you know? Note to the Gaithers. 
when a crack addict breaks into your recording studio, you are not under obligation to use that recording in your children's program. Just moving forward. Make a note. You know, life in general always come back to making decisions. The right decision. The one the good Lord wants you to make. Like stabbing your son in the throat on top of a fucking altar. Can we put the knife away now? Why? It's a danger to everyone around you. Add general stupidity to suicide note. Busy day. Now, for instance, take my little ball friends, Jack and Mary Jane Darby. Now, see, Jack. <laughs> oh god, can we never play that laugh again? Sure. Good. <laughs> Next we cut to some Dorbies in school who are, you know, I don't know, they're doing school shit. As you can see, the isolation of the parallelogram is concurrent to the vertical side of the polygon. Now what is exciting about this is that they both are related side according to MacGyver's theorem of gumstick tubing. Based on the quality of this production, I'm on the fence as to whether or not that's a joke that fell flat or if the guy who wrote this doesn't understand what math is. But what's really exciting about this is the fact that the sum of the total of all sides is 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Am I having a stroke? I'm hearing child laughter and I smell eggs. The first one's a movie, but... Okay. Nah, you're probably fine. Okay. You're fine. Can we see that note pass again in slow motion? Ugh. It's like if a PS1 fucked mediocrity and it had a kid with ADHD and it's beautiful. I'm busting out. Follow my lead if you want to get out of here. Kidnapper ransom style notes. In Comic Sans, there's uh, no setup here, just the punchline. Darby, Jack Darby, follow me. Code Red, Code Red, escape. Oh. Wow, the security in the school is crazy. Schools are boring enough. You don't have to make it safe what? too. Uh, what do you mean? Schools are safe. The Parkland shooting was a false flag! Detected. Complete lockdown in T minus three minutes. Uh -uh. This is supposed to be about Jesus, I think, by the way. Mm. Don't worry. We'll get there. Will we? Eh, we'll see. Toolbox? What? Wait, what? Toolbox? What? You, you can't pull toolboxes out of your body? So you just pull them out? No. How does sex work for you? I'll let you know. Could have finished college. Well, I'm here now. Uh -oh. Look out! Ah! All right, we're about eight minutes in. I'm. This is way worse than I assumed it would be. No, it's fine. It's okay. so bad. They were, this is like animation test and then we're gonna fuck around and put a story to it. It's real bad. I don't understand what they think they're doing. They haven't mentioned Jesus, I think, once, maybe? They did... mentioned that, like, God, like, listen to God or uh, the tomato guy did for a minute, for a second. Why is the school uh, not a school, but it's a jail and then there's an Indiana Jones it, ball? It's manic. It's <sighs> just... Okay, that's... 
We going back in? Are you good? <laughs> Where? Oh yeah, I didn't cry those tears for nothing. Hey, did he did he just just ball? Did he just ball? What can I say? He was on a roll. Oh, fuck you. This is You know, I remember we had a drummer, his name was Sticks. The only problem was he only had one drumstick and he had a bad left arm and wasn't nothing but a nub. But Don't get nub arm stories on veggie tales, do you kids? <laughs> fuck yeah, Dorbies. <laughs> Is it a joke that he just tells stories? Like the tomato well, slash probably a black guy? It's definitely a joke that he's like, he goes on and on. But like, why But wh why about nub arm drummer? Is it, is it? But that's... It's not a, it's not a joke. It just, it's, just a, it's just an annoying personality at a certain point. Yeah. The point was the beginning. Wow, uh, Dorbies don't have very secure borders. They didn't have an orange one to vote in, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. I must find a closer tier to find some regular American clothes so that I might fit in better with the garment folk. That, that is just egregious. So Arnold Schwarzenegger makes his way into the store, the sign of which is showing on the inside, because giant letters clipping through your building set isn't distracting at all. Did you say Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, I did. That's why. That's why I keep calling him. Cause he's. Yeah, no, I get it. It's just real sad. <laughs> I need an adult. Different adult, not me. Thanks, Paul. I'll be the adult. You're our hero, Paul. If you don't watch the live streams, this made no sense to you. my brother love or welcome to digs duds hit me with some skin this is the voice actor for dig by the way oh yeah i am dig esquire and this is my assistant the soft-spoken norm you darn tootin you're darn tootin well, reminds me of, uh, how people talk up here in Michigan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we take a, just a little bit of break from Dorby's, and we can visit, uh, pa Papa Jake's, uh, Michigan Starter Kit Corner, or whatever. I'll figure out a title after. Just, let's go. <laughs> I was born in Saginaw, Michigan. In Michigan, we actually don't have a word for excuse me. We have an onomatopoeia. For example, Why excuse me, sir? In Michigan, Oh! 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 Makes me want to walk out in front of a gun range. Oh! Oh! She was the daughter of a very, very... It's not a chili dog here. It's a Coney dog. Jake, would you like a chili dog? <laughs> no, but I'd love a Coney dog with extra Coney sauce. I'd love to go to my room and hang myself with a belt. <laughs> Instead of soda, people here say pop. Boy, I sure am parched, Jake. Maybe you could get me a soda. <laughs> no, all I got here is Fago, which is a pop. I got your moon mist, I got root beer, and I also got red pop. 
No thanks. I'd rather perish. <laughs> Michiganders, as they are known, hate Ohioans, which are people from Ohio. Ohio is trash. It is a trash heap. I fuck just. This has been Papa Jake's Guide to Michigan. Enjoy the pop. So the caricature of black Americans keeps singing for a while, and then eventually it cuts back to the kids awkwardly, and uh, they're just kind of walking around. It's raining or something. Yeah. Well... It's like they forgot to fully sound effects for every other scene, so to compensate, they decided to make the very prominent footsteps in this one shot. This is like if Tommy Wiseau wanted to get a job at Pixar. It's fascinating. <laughs> Look at that, Mary Jane. It's old man Redder's house. And then when they go to show the house, they can't even show the fucking house because it's covered in fog. They're totally inept. Wait. Is that the same house from Gaither's Pond? Nope. False alarm. I checked. See? You did research for this? My life is a farce! Mary Jane, there comes a time in a Dorby's life when he has to pick himself up by the bootstrap. When a Dorby has to grow up and take what's his. You gotta climb to the summit to even see the top. You gotta want it. You gotta cough for the fall even when the guard doesn't want to feed you the rock. You okay, so they can just pull anything out of themselves? Does that mean Arnold Schwarzenegger could have just gotten off the boat and pulled clothes out of himself? If that's the case, why is he in the store? If that's the case, why they have to have the character of the black guy? If that's the case, why is that scene even there? By the way, why is that scene in the movie? I don't know. I can't handle this anymore is all I'm saying. It's too much. Can't do it. What are they doing? Why are you doing this to me? I think they need the thing first, and then they put it inside them, and oh. they pull it out later. It's... This is about Jesus, by the way? Yeah, it is. I think. Do they have to take Jesus and literally put them him inside them? I think that's the... is it? Hmm. Oh, okay, let's go! But wait, Jack, that place really looks scary, and... Well, my mama says that it could be dangerous and we might get hurt. And the Bible says that we should honor our mom and dad. Tammy from the trailer park, you know, the one with the cleft lip baby. That's the name of this haircut. Everybody's going to be so jazzed about what we found in there that nobody's going to remember that we disobeyed our parents. Come on, Mary Jane. I mean, live a little. What the fuck? They changed voice actors between the dialogue and the song recording. It's all for one and one for all. We're just balls. I wish my organs were being feasted on by eight inch long sewer rats. Yeah, my man. Now we're getting somewhere. Tyler Bird, <clears throat> ben Benji Gaither, Marshall Hall, and Scott Harper. These are the names of the four adults that, uh, through their combined efforts and brain power, created uh, that. Can we both appreciate mm. that they tried to make this look as much like a space suit as they possibly could, but they failed so spectacularly, they had to write NASA on it, not once but twice for us to understand what it's supposed to be. That's a level of laziness I've yet to see. And it deserves some recognition. No, no, no. Hold your applause for the cow. Dorby German Access Television presents Mr. Poe und Yogel. Who's the strongest Dorby in the world who's loved by every boy und girl und yak? It's Mr. Poe. 
this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Never mind, carry on. <sighs> what you open? Who makes his living fighting crime and carries bags of flapjacks on his back? It's Mr. Paul! What you open? Yeah, I'm just gonna call it a day and uh, snore ambient until my heart stops. Where is your Mr. Paul now, your ghoul? Where is your Mr. Paul now? <laughs> oh, pardon. Oh, Mr. Paul! Mr. Paul! Where are you? Have no fear, Yogel. I have found you. Dr. Derry, what have you done? It, it's kind of like they saw a single episode of Robot Chicken and then thought to themselves, Seth Green makes decisions that I should also make. What? Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on a happy face. Hang in there, Yogel. I'll be right there. So the joke here is that they're foreign? Yeah. Were you expecting it to go deeper than that? No, it's just... I'm losing my sense of humor. <laughs> the bars! They're they're too thin for him! Because he's a person, and, and they're, they're usually, usually bigger, bigger than, than the bars! Body. Yes! Come on! No, that won't work. Hang in there, Yogel! Oh, come out! This is the kind of toilet paper you get when you're just sick and tired of poking your finger through during vigorous wipes. It's the kind that says, I won't stand for this because I sit while I wipe, which is the correct way to wipe because people who stand, oh, I, I hope they get picked apart by a flock of ravens in the dead of night, the subhuman fucking rats. The subhuman fucking rats. Uh, see? Just one more minute. Sing, Yogel. Sing like the wind. Hey, Barry. Yeah? I got all these extra assets to you. Which assets you got? I got a train. I got a piano. I got a boombox. I got a dartboard. I got a... Okay, okay, just put them in something. We gotta convert kids to Jesus with this one. Wait. What? How are we accomplishing this goal in any way? Do you got rock hard toilet paper so's we don't poke a finger? Way ahead of ya! Don't worry, Yogel. There is always one thing that can stop a cow cold in his tracks. <laughs> no! Not the. Oh, the beautiful light. Tip him! Cow tipping jokes, huh? Hey guys, cruelty to animals is funny now, isn't it? It's fucking. Think about what legacy you want to leave behind as a human race. Cows have feelings. We're not just here to tip over. I mean, they're certainly not here just to suffer on a day-to-day -day basis for our own enjoyment. What? Oh, I get it. It's a lava lamp. But I got these here for free. You know what I was doing? You know where I found these for free? You, you don't want to know. 
Drug Addict breaks in once and records voiceover for your poorly thought out animated film, shame on you. Drug Addict breaks in and records audio for your poorly animated film twice, shame on me for making it this far. Yeah, one take, good job. I was told in Sweden that the big city people would try to take advantage of my small town ways. But you have taken me to a place of special trust. So they said Sweden, but he sounds like Arnold, who is from Austria. So what is the story here? I'm pretty sure he's a false flag lizard child rapist from another dimension. I'm you can't talk me out of it. It's either that or people from the south just don't know that the foreigns are more than you know. The white ones are from Sweden, right? You know, I do stand to make quite a few greenbacks off my Icelandic brother, but I'm not sure I can actually say he looks good in those threads. Of course, with all the money, I could go down to Tito's pawn shop and get my 8-track back. Again! White guy! Of course, with all the money, I could go down to Tito's pawn shop and get my 8-track back. Ah, uh, I guess every dog has got to make the right choice sometime. Now mind you, my store is the bomb. There ain't nowhere in town that can slide with my inventory. But I think a special brother like yourself needs to go next door. Oh, darker, dick, darker. What the fuck? Wait a minute. He's, they said he was from Sweden, but he just said Donkel, which is German. That's not even Sweden at all. I hate to admit it, but I think you're right this time, Jake. Something's afoot. I think something is- we need to- get, Grab the hat! Grab the hat! I don't like the hat. The hat! It's got- they, they say they help. Yeah? Together? One, two, three? Holy shit. The voices, they're gone. Oh my god, I've wasted my life on a YouTube series. I need to go get a bachelor's degree! Fuck! <laughs> Info Wars! Darn, tootin'. Meanwhile in Plot A! Because if kids will understand anything, it's a Jimmy Hoffa reference in 1990 fucking 8. Maybe it's for the parents? If you show me a parent who is allowing a child to sit through this entire thing and they've made it this far, then I will show you a child growing up in the worst conditions imaginable. Where? The American South! About a whole slew of sort of dangerous and pink polka dot of chocolate covered wild berry flavored jelly beans over here. Hire security for your studio! Stop using this guy's audio, now he probably has a SAG card. <clears throat> let's go up the stairs! Come on, hurry! Okay, hey, when we get up there, let's see if we can. <laughs> Jack, Jack, are you okay? Throw up the Astro Ball! Okay, go get help, but listen, don't make a big scene. Keep it quiet. Smash cut gag. Yeah, I, th I think probably that's the case. Today, two young students were caught trespassing in an old abandoned house. Are you okay, son? We were worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Dad. Well, I guess I really made a bad decision today. No, 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 Don't play the cathartic music. You haven't earned this. Don't pretend you've earned this. Son, there's gonna be plenty of time for you to grow up. And you know what? What? Tomorrow's a brand new day. So tomorrow's a new day. Is there advice? Is, no, is just, that, that's just kind of how planets operate. Just tomorrow, try better. Is that it? Is that what you're saying? I think so. And Jesus. But where? Somewhere. Jesus <laughs> no. is everywhere. 
Except in my head, because he can't yeah, get through, he can't get, he can't get, he can't can't get, get through the down. foil. It's too strong. What's he do? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's heavy duty shit. I'm actually trying to poke a hole, and it's not even yeah, working. No, this you, is can't, good. you can't do it. This is good. This is good. This will hold uh, your brain in your skull, and if also I was your a, chicken on your pan. If I was a frog, I would be the straightest frog. Obama could never get to my my brain. You, you couldn't be a gay, gay one. No, no. Okay, your third eye is a little exposed, though. We're gonna. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bay me up, Scotty. <laughs> That's pretty neat, isn't it? <laughs> that Fleck. Fleck, you crazy. I tell you what, that Fleck. Fleck, you crazy. He's crazy. This movie makes my hair hurt. <laughs> Should have put the tinfoil on earlier. Protects it. Like I was saying, life is about choices it ain't always easy to make but if you pray to the good lord he's gonna keep you on the straight and narrow and he's gonna show you the way wait what was the message who what when for why what who what that's the end it, it they tack on jesus at the end do they i think did they mention him hmm. no, i don't think this thing is working Mm. Maybe if I double up. Super hat? Can I? Oh, don't eat the cold cheeseburger. I already ate it. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, if you want, you can always... Oh, God. Oh. Stay tuned. Sometime Ray Comfort's new movie comes out soon, so I'm sure we're going to be covering that. Uh, it's about him being a fool, and that's not our words. That's his. The movie's called The Fool, so Ooh, stay tuned um, for that. Who was the asshole that looked at onions? And said, what if we take the water out of them and then put it back in and feed it to folks? Ray Kroc? <laughs> yeah. So, you can always follow us on Twitter at PapaBirdJake, at Hugo Reloaded, on Twitch uh, at ActualJake, at Hugo Reloaded, uh, Patreon in the description if you want to support the show, our P.O. Box is here on the screen. And you can send us all sorts of weird shows and stuff for us to watch like this. Um, so I think that's it. They didn't have any Faygo. Only the Diet Coke. I gotta go catch Infinity War now. Yep. Check out a review over at Unpop. Subscribe over there. Alright, kids. Until next time, I'm Hugo. I am Jake. All right, you but they'll, you'll never find me. I can't have you functional, no. actually, so. No. Oh. We need to be on a level playing field. All right. It's all you have to do to make it real. Then you wouldn't have to say that you love me. Done. We tried. We tried.